Over the past couple of days, Amber Heard has been seen testifying after what seems like weeks, and it doesn't seem to be going so well. There is now a 10-day break for the judge to look at all the information that has been provided thus far, and the trial will resume on the 16th. Has Amber Heard's lawyer just quit, and has she really now gone to Team Depp? Be sure to stick around till the end of the video for all the key details. Welcome back to LoafTube! If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and switch on the notification bell to receive updates on new celebrity videos. Let's jump right into the video and find out if Amber Heard's lawyer really did quit and the main reason for it. Body Language Expert Analyses on Amber Heard Amber Heard's body language revealed her conflicted emotions as she took the stand in her blockbuster defamation suit with Johnny Depp yesterday, according to an expert. During her testimony in the bombshell trial, the Aquaman actor wept as she described how she was repeatedly beaten by the jealous Depp, who performed a cavity check on her for cocaine after pulling off her clothes. According to body language expert Judy James, reading the feelings of the A-list case is difficult because both of them are performers who know how to play a fascinated global audience. The defendant's legal team will almost certainly have prepared them for their testimony. Yet, small motions or expressions can disclose their actual feelings while not disclosing their guilt or innocence. When Heard first took the stand, she smiled as she spoke to the jury in an attempt to humanize her and establish an emotional connection. However, during the often gruesome testimony, the actress pretended to cry by sobbing and scrunching her nose, although she did not cry. Her hand movements were consistent with her words, frequently employed for expressiveness before she spoke, which Judy described as a sign of honesty. She also locked her gaze on Depp, which might be interpreted as either a strong power move or an attempt at openness and honesty. Depp has previously received applause from the audience for his calm demeanor and humor on the stand, while Heard sat silently throughout the trial, occasionally whispering to her legal team. But now she's considerably more animated, ranging from grins to sobs as she chronicles their tumultuous relationship. Judy said, Amber's direction of gaze and speech when she first takes the stand is important. It is quite common for people to address their answers to the jury in the US, but Amber seems to create personal connections and tie signs quickly here, beginning by smiling in the direction of the judge before turning her head towards the jury to offer her answers to questions from the legal team. Her hair is also draped to her left, meaning that the jury have a clear view of her face, both in silhouette and as she turns to address them directly. The effect would be to humanize herself to the jury rather than isolating herself as a celebrity who they will presumably have been hearing negative comments about. She further added, it shows them a certain amount of respect to them to want to address them directly, as it shows a consideration of them as being in ultimate control in terms of the verdict. It helps to build some early connections. The jury also gets to see her eyes, and eyes tend to be considered one of the most revealing body parts in terms of inner feelings and emotions. Did Amber Heard's lawyer quit? There has been speculation over the past few days Heard's lawyers have quit due to a poor performance in court. This comes just days after she fired her PR team due to the the same reason. The litigation has gone through several twists and turns, the most recent of which being the rumor that Heard's lead attorney, Elaine Bredehoft, had quit after the actress was caught in a falsehood in which she claimed she used cosmetics to cover up Depp's wounds. The news of Bredehoft's resignation, however, is not confirmed as of yet. It is well known that the litigant is completely focused on winning the case and is devising the best strategies to avoid the alleged defamation by Depp. During last week's hearing, Heard claimed that she had used a Milani Cosmetics cosmetic product to go to work and avoid having to show the horrific injuries that her then-husband had given her. Which, as we all know by now, was entirely proven false as Milani themselves posted a TikTok disproving Heard and her team's statements in court, as the makeup she was regarding was released in 2017, which didn't add up the dates correctly for Amber's case. According to the original article, this major blunder would have prompted the lawyer to drop the lawsuit but this claim is false. Anyway, time will tell what happens with Amber and her team. Do you see her lawyers leaving her due to a poor performance, especially on the stand? Also, who do you think has provided the most concrete evidence out of the pair's team, and who has done a better job of testifying on one another? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below, as we love to hear your feedback. This concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one!